Hi! Do you love poinsettias? I sure do, and was delightfully surprised at just how much is included in the peaceful poinsettia bundle. And today, well, we're going to tap into just a tiny bit of it as I demonstrate for you my pretty poinsettia Christmas card. I have to be honest, at first look, I misjudged the peaceful poinsettia bundle. That was until I saw one of the samples in the holiday catalog. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 17 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. And then once I got my bundle and started playing with it, well, my fondness just grew and grew, and I'm excited to show you how to make my pretty poinsettia Christmas card. Here's a closer view of the peaceful poinsettia stamp set and coordinating detailed poinsettia fiddlets dies. But wait, there are so many dies included in this set, they can't fit all on one sheet. So you have all of these and then we'll turn it over and look at that. And when you order the two of these together using the special bundle item number I've listed right here, you'll save 10% on both. Now we're not using this stamp today, but I can hardly wait to color this with my real red and shaded spruce stampin' blends. But anyway, we're going to start with some die cutting. So let's set this aside and let's prep our cardstock because we're going to be using this thin lit die with all of that detail. So we're going to make life a lot easier by turning this into a self-adhesive die cut. And how we'll do that is with the multi-purpose adhesive sheets. So we'll go ahead and peel this off. The printed part, that's just the protective backing. And I've got some Whisper White cardstock here. And I cut this to size. There we go. And now we're all set for me to grab my Big Shot. I've got my Big Shot die cutting machine and I'm using the magnetic platform. Now you could use your Big Shot platform, but I'm all set for another step that we'll be doing. So that's the start of our sandwich and then we need our cutting pad. And here's the Whisper White cardstock with the multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back. So there we go. And then our thin lit die and this raised edge, that's the cutting edge. Let's put that down. There we go. And so if I do that, it's just going to cut a hole in the paper, a really decorative hole, but I want to cut the whole thing out. So we'll use the coordinating die and frame around it, the framelit die. I may have to spin this a few times to get it just right. There we go. So that's on there. And we'll just do it all in one step. And then a cutting pad is the rest of our sandwich. And then normally with a thinlet, a detailed die like this, I would use the big sh or the multi or help me precision base plate, but it worked out just fine with this. So let me show you. Just cut through that like butter. Fantastic. So now we have some more die cutting, and I've got a piece of shaded spruce that I already went ahead and put the um, multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back. And then we're going to use this cool die. Oh my goodness, I like this. Use this in conjunction with that thinlet die we just did, that poinsettia. Very pretty. I'll have a, a card I made using this on my blog post soon. So check that out in a few days, www.stampingsmiles.com. So what I'm wanting on this, though, is the pine. Here we go. So we'll just place that on here. And go ahead and crank that through. Now again, I'm going to back up because I didn't use my precision base plate. Okay, fantastic. So we've got that all done. So now, here's why I have the magnetic platform. I've got a piece of the Whisper White cardstock, and I'll have a link to my blog post with this card and all the measurements to make it. And this time we're going to use the delicate lace thinlet dies. Aren't these pretty? We're going to use this one. So what we're going to do is place this at an angle across here. All right. And see, I want to hold it in place. And the magnetic platform just makes it a lot easier. I don't have to mess with post-it notes or washi tape or painter's tape or anything. Just let the, the die do the work so it doesn't slow me down. Let's just go ahead and back up for good measure. It's amazing what 3,000 pounds of pressure will do. And then it just cut that off clean as a whistle. And look at that. We'll get out all those little pieces in a jiffy. 
the die cutting is done and I did quickly die cut another poinsettia with the framelit die in the real red cardstock. Okay, so now let me show you how quick we're going to get out all these little pieces. What I have here is a foam mat that comes with a Big Shot die brush. We're just going to gently brush over top of this. Look at all those pieces fall right out. Oh, fantastic. There we go. Oh, looking good. And even after the dies off, you can gently go over it. It's a lot quicker than picking out every little one with uh, the paper piercing tool, but let me show you. This is really cool, the take your pick tool. Got lots of different options with this, but see, they're just re ready to fall right out. There we go. So that's all clean and neat. And then, I love this. <laughs> brush that over and watch all the pieces fall out but it gets even really cool with the multi-purpose adhesive sheets and we can run the brush over see those pieces stuck in there the brush just to get them out of there too fantastic all right but with the multi-purpose adhesive sheets so we got a little bit stuck in there usually when you peel it off to make your self-adhesive die cut look all those pieces come with it so there we go and then we've got our last one with our pine bough. Oh, that's just falling out of there already. <laughs> there we go. And just pop that right out. Oh, looking good, looking good. So we can go ahead and take that off too. So we are all set. Boy, that just saves a lot of time from messing with glue because, you know, I've done it a lot. All right, so let me bring this back. We can go ahead and the detail on here. Make sure I get this turned the right way. Now I get to rotate. Okay, look at that. Oh, before we do that though, isn't that pretty? But I really wanted a yellow center. And I, I really had no desire to um, cut again on the on yellow and poke all those in so let's leave that here for my orientation so what i figured out to do is instead i've got some crushed curry cardstock and the half inch circle punch i looked for a punch that would fit that area perfectly i couldn't find it another punch it was just a little bit too small so i've got this which just gets me almost down to size but what i'm going to do is take my paper snips and i'm just going to trim around it and make myself because I did do the whole um, you know die cut again with the crushed curry cardstock and poke all those in I, I just don't have patience for that I, <laughs> not to do for my Christmas cards over and over and over and over I thought if I'm not enjoying it I don't think my stampers would enjoy spending all that time either when we can get an easier fix another thing I liked about this is it's behind it just like the the petals will be Okay, so let's see, because we can always trim a little bit more. And if I went too crazy, we could punch another one. Because you can always cut off more, you can't add it back on, right? Just like when cutting hair with wood, they tell you measure twice and cut once. There we go. And so look, we've got that covered. Great. And now we can put that on here. And if you thought you should, you could take your snail adhesive and put a little bit where we just you know took away the adhesive by putting that on oh good i thought i might be spinning around and around and around oh well maybe now i will be <laughs> oh there we go sometimes it feels like a big puzzle it feels like i've turned it a hundred times and still can't find it but isn't that sharp that white outline well, if I'd stick it down, that white outline against the red. And it's just going to work really well with my card with that white. So there we go. Beautiful. All right. So now to finish the card, I've got real red cardstock. And then the piece we just die cut with our edgelets die. Isn't that sharp? So again, with the snail adhesive, put your finger where those ridges are. An inch in each corner pull along there let's go along this edge fantastic snail do you know what that stands for super neat affordable inline adhesive 
easy to remember. <laughs> and so I've cut this from edge to edge. So when you do this, you want to make sure that your cardstock is cut the same width. You might have to fool around a little bit, but it won't look good if you've got red peeking out. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very, very pretty. Okay, so some more. Let's press this down well now that we're happy. Some more snail adhesive. And then however you'd like your orientation to be. I think I like that. Oh, very pretty. Isn't this simple? Mm -mm -mm. And then our little touch of green from the pine bough. Oh, nice. I thought about putting a greeting on here, but every time I did, I thought, oh, that's going to take away from it. So I, I saved the greeting for the inside. But I want to finish this just one little touch. And look what I have, the red rhinestones. Oh, aren't those sharp? And then let's use our take your pick tool again. Look what's on the opposite side of this. So you just twist, take that out. A little spatula. All right. At first, I wasn't sure what to do with this. We got this on the uh, the Alaskan cruise. I thought, what would we do with a little spatula? Well, here, I'll show you what you do. You get up and under. Isn't that cool? So now we can place our little red rhinestones. Like, oh, I like. I like to press down so the adhesive is stuck on the stone really well. Very nice, isn't it? Okay, and one more, because what Grandma always tell us, you do things in odd numbers, so one, three, five. <laughs> but I think we'll stop at three. And there you go. Isn't that sharp? And that was really easy to do, and my goodness, I love the white of the outline with the white of this card. And, oh, I've got a little bit of red peeking out, so I will trim that. But let me show you what I did for the inside. I finished it off with the uh, Christmas Wishes that's included in the Peaceful Poinsettia stamp set and then did some more die cutting with the dies for a little decorative touch. So there we go. Isn't that sharp? You're just going to really love the Peaceful Poinsettia bundle. If you'd like to make my pretty Peaceful Poinsettia Christmas card, all the supplies are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.